What makes a modern naval vessel truly formidable? Sweden's Visby-class corvettes answer this question. Built to evade detection and strike with lethal accuracy, these vessels are at the forefront of modern maritime defense. They play a critical role in Sweden's security strategy within the increasingly contested waters of the Baltic Sea. Today, we'll discover what sets them apart. Let's begin by understanding why Sweden needed this advanced ship and the events that led to its development. Several key events and strategic decisions influenced the creation of the Visby-class corvettes. This initiative can be traced back to the late 20th century, a period marked by significant geopolitical shifts. As the Cold War drew to a close, Sweden recognized the need to modernize its naval fleet to address new and evolving threats. Traditional large surface combatants were becoming less effective in the dynamic maritime environment of the Baltic Sea prompting the Swedish Navy to shift its focus towards smaller, more agile vessels. In 1981, a Soviet Whiskey-class submarine designated S-363 ran aground near Karlskrona, exposing Sweden's vulnerabilities in anti-submarine warfare. This event underscored the need for advanced naval capabilities and accelerated the development of modern corvettes equipped with state-of-the-art anti-submarine warfare systems. Construction of the first ship in this class began in 1996 at the Kockums shipyard in Karlskrona, a historic maritime hub in Sweden. The lead ship, HMS Visby, was launched in 2000 and commissioned two years later, but it became fully operational in 2012. Currently, there are five of these corvettes. Initially, the first four served in mine countermeasures and anti-submarine warfare roles, while the final vessel focused primarily on attack and anti-surface warfare. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest, if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. The Visby are 72 meters in length, with a beam of 10.4 meters and a draft of 2.4 meters, and have a fully loaded displacement of 650 tons. One of their most distinctive features is their advanced stealth technology. The ships are designed with a unique angular tumble home shape, which significantly reduces their radar cross-section. The angled surfaces deflect radar waves, making the vessel harder to detect by enemy radar systems. In addition to their geometric design, these corvettes utilize composite materials to enhance their stealth capabilities. The hull and superstructure are constructed using a sandwich of PVC core, carbon fiber, and vinyl laminate. This combination makes the ships lighter and more rigid, improving speed and maneuverability. The use of carbon fiber and vinyl laminate also reduces the vessel's infrared and acoustic signatures. Additionally, the non-metallic nature of carbon fiber helps lower the magnetic signature, making the ship less susceptible to magnetic mines and reducing its detectability by magnetic anomaly detectors. Moreover, the composite materials used in the construction are highly corrosion-resistant, which extends the operational life of the ships and reduces maintenance costs. This is particularly important for naval vessels operating in the harsh maritime environment of the Baltic Sea where salt water and varying temperatures can significantly impact the longevity of conventional materials. Their stealth features are complemented by other measures designed to reduce their detectability. For instance, exhaust gases are cooled and expelled just above the waterline at the rear of the vessel, reducing the infrared signature. The ship's systems are also designed to minimize noise from machinery and hydrodynamic sources, making the corvettes quieter and harder to detect by sonar. The propulsion and performance characteristics of the Visby-class corvettes are key factors that contribute to their exceptional operational capabilities. These advanced vessels are powered by a combined diesel and gas propulsion system, which provides a blend of speed, efficiency, and versatility essential for various naval missions. This system incorporates two main types of engines, the Vericor TF-50A gas turbines and the MTU-16V-2000 diesel engines. The gas turbines are renowned for their ability to produce high power outputs quickly, which is crucial for achieving rapid acceleration and high speeds. Each Vericor TF-50A turbine generates approximately 5,600 horsepower, enabling the Corvettes to reach impressive top speeds when needed. On the other hand, the MTU-16V-2000 diesel engines, each producing around 1,740 horsepower, are designed for fuel efficiency and sustained cruising. 
This combination allows the vessels to switch between engines based on operational requirements, optimizing performance for both high-speed maneuvers and long-range patrols. One of the standout features of these corvettes is their impressive speed. Thanks to the powerful gas turbines, these ships can achieve speeds in excess of 35 knots, about 65 kilometers per hour, making them some of the fastest corvettes in the world. This speed is particularly advantageous for rapid response scenarios. Their range is equally noteworthy. With a cruising speed of 15 knots, approximately 28 kilometers per hour, these vessels can cover distances of up to 2,500 nautical miles, around 4,600 kilometers, without the need for refueling. This extended range is facilitated by the efficient diesel engines, which consume less fuel during long-distance operations. Maneuverability is another critical aspect. The ships are equipped with water jets instead of traditional propellers, which provides several operational advantages. Water jets offer superior maneuverability, allowing the vessels to execute sharp turns and rapid stops, which are essential for evading threats and navigating through confined waters. Furthermore, water jets produce less noise compared to conventional propulsion systems, reducing the corvette's acoustic signature and making them harder to detect by enemy sonar. The deep V-hull design of the Visby class also contributes significantly to their performance. This hull shape enhances stability and seaworthiness, allowing the ships to maintain high speeds even in rough sea conditions. The deep V design reduces the hydrodynamic resistance encountered during movement, which not only improves speed and fuel efficiency, but also provides a smoother ride for the crew. The stability offered by this hull form is particularly beneficial during combat operations, where maintaining a steady platform is crucial for accurate targeting and weapon deployment. The corvettes are equipped to handle a variety of combat roles, making their armaments and systems integral to their operational effectiveness. For their primary role in anti-surface warfare, the ships are equipped with RBS-15 anti-ship missiles and a Bofors 57mm gun. The RBS-15 missiles are known for their long-range capability and precision, able to strike surface targets up to 200 kilometers away with advanced guidance systems that maintain effectiveness even during evasive maneuvers. Complementing this is the versatile Bofors 57mm gun, capable of high rates of fire and effective against both surface vessels and aircraft due to its advanced targeting system. Additionally, they are fitted with lightweight torpedo systems designed specifically for anti-submarine warfare, providing a critical defense against underwater threats. In recent years, significant upgrades have enhanced their capabilities. One notable upgrade is the installation of the Sea Scepter Air Defense System, which uses common anti-air modular missiles, or CAM. This system offers robust air defense, engaging multiple aerial threats simultaneously, including supersonic anti-ship missiles and attack helicopters. The Sea Scepter provides 360-degree coverage and uses soft launch technology to minimize the ship's infrared signature during firing, significantly boosting the Corvette's defensive capabilities as part of the Midlife Modernization Program. The Corvettes also feature advanced sensor and communication systems that provide comprehensive situational awareness and control. The primary radar system, the Sea Giraffe AMB 3D radar, offers excellent air and surface surveillance capabilities, detecting and tracking multiple targets simultaneously. These vessels are equipped with sophisticated sonar systems, including hull-mounted and towed array sonars, essential for effective anti-submarine warfare operations by identifying underwater threats at considerable distances. The ships utilize the 9LV MK3E combat management system developed by Saab, which integrates data from various sensors and weapon systems to provide a cohesive picture of the battle space. This system enables rapid decision-making and efficient coordination of the vessel's defensive and offensive operations. The communication systems ensure secure and reliable connectivity with other naval assets and command centers, facilitating coordinated actions during complex missions. For mine countermeasures activities, the Corvettes are equipped with remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, like the Double Eagle MK3. This improved ROV features high-resolution cameras and sonar systems to provide detailed images of the seabed and potential mines. It can be remotely controlled from the ship, allowing it to closely inspect and neutralize mines using tools such as explosive charges. In some cases, specialized mine disposal vehicles are used to safely disarm mines without detonation, preserving the safety of the surrounding area. 
The Corvettes are also equipped to support helicopter operations, despite not having a dedicated hangar. These vessels feature a helicopter platform at the aft, which allows helicopters to land and take off. The platform is designed to accommodate light to medium helicopters, such as the Augusta Westland A109, which is often used by the Swedish Navy. Although they lack a hangar, they are equipped with the necessary facilities for helicopter refueling and basic maintenance. This capability allows the ships to extend the operational range and endurance of their embarked helicopters by providing a sea-based platform for refueling and rearming. The helicopters can be utilized for various missions, including surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, and search and rescue operations. The absence of a hangar does impose some limitations, particularly in terms of long-term deployment and protection of the helicopter from harsh weather conditions. However, the ability to launch and recover helicopters enhances the Corvette's operational flexibility. The operational effectiveness of these Corvettes has been demonstrated in numerous historical missions and multinational naval exercises. One notable mission occurred in 2014 during the submarine hunt in Swedish territorial waters. In response to reports of unidentified underwater activity, the Swedish Navy deployed its corvettes to locate and track the suspected submarine. These vessels have also participated in several high-profile multinational naval exercises, which are essential for maintaining readiness and interoperability with Allied forces. Exercise Cold Response, held in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, tested their ability to operate in extreme environments. Another significant exercise is Joint Warrior, a major NATO-led event involving numerous Allied navies. During this exercise, the Corvettes participated in various scenarios, including ASUW, ASW, and MCM operations. These exercises provided valuable experience and highlighted the Corvettes' versatility and capability in joint operations. These corvettes hold a crucial strategic role in the Baltic region, primarily due to the unique geopolitical landscape and the various security challenges that Sweden faces. The Baltic Sea is a significant maritime corridor for many countries, including Russia, which has shown increased military activity in the region over recent years. The strategic location of Sweden, with its extensive coastline along the Baltic Sea, necessitates a robust naval presence to secure its territorial waters and ensure the safety of maritime routes. The primary function of these vessels is to counter potential threats from adversaries, particularly Russia. The advanced stealth capabilities and versatile combat systems of these ships make them ideal for modern naval warfare, where the ability to operate undetected is paramount. The increasing militarization of the Baltic region, highlighted by Russia's activities in Ukraine, has underscored the importance of having a technologically advanced and ready naval force. These corvettes, with their ability to perform anti-surface, anti-submarine, and mine countermeasure operations, significantly enhance Sweden's defensive posture in the region. Given the current security situation and the strategic importance of maintaining a robust defense, Sweden has recognized the need to further enhance its naval capabilities. In April 2024, the Swedish Parliamentary Defense Committee presented their proposal for the period of 2026 to 2030. This comprehensive plan includes a focus on bolstering naval strength, driven by the need for greater security in light of Russia's increased military activities and Sweden's NATO membership. Currently, the five Visby-class corvettes are undergoing a significant mid-life upgrade, with the completion expected before 2030. The upgrades, contracted between Saab and the Swedish Defense Materiel Administration in January 2021, involve installing surface-to-air missiles, upgraded anti-ship missiles, and advanced anti-submarine torpedoes. Additionally, improved sensors and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities will be integrated to ensure these corvettes remain operationally relevant beyond 2040. In parallel, the Swedish Navy is advancing the development of the Luleå-class corvettes. These new vessels are prioritized for procurement and are expected to be larger and more capable than the existing Visby class. This new class will enhance mine clearance capabilities and maintain submarine operational readiness, with new submarine planning projected to begin around 2035. The ongoing midlife upgrades and the development of new Lulio class corvettes reflect Sweden's commitment to maintaining a modern and effective naval force. These efforts ensure that Sweden remains prepared to meet current and future security threats, solidifying the strategic importance of the Visby-class corvettes in the nation's defense strategy.